Welcome back to another MLB video and with the World Series starting tomorrow we've got Los Angeles Dodgers and Tampa Bay Rays at Globe Life Park in Arlington. It's been a very weird year but the MLB has been able to make it all the way to the World Series so I'm going to be giving you guys a full preview starting things off with what is going to be on the line going into the series for both of these teams. First of all Tampa Bay just making their second World Series appearance in franchise history the other one coming in 2008 eight and they're looking to get their first world series title as a franchise and this could be big it could prove that even if you're a small market franchise like the rays with good management you can make it very far they've already proved that but if they can go one step further and win the world series that would be great to see and for the dodgers they've won eight straight nl west division titles this is going to be their third world series appearance in their last four years but they just haven't been able to get over the hump so we're going to see if they can do that now because at this point in LA, they've won eight straight division titles. That's normal for them. They've made the World Series a couple times. This is nothing out of the realm of possibilities for them. So now in LA, it is definitely World Series or bust. And now we're going to take a look at the projected starting pitching rotations. First of all, for the Rays, they've got Tyler Glass now going game one, Blake Snell game two, Charlie Morton, the game seven hero game three, and Ryan Yarbrough game four. So Snell, Glass now, and Morton can make more multiple appearances if this goes seven games with Charlie Morton being the one that would potentially start a game seven because he's just been so dominant for the Rays all postseason and then for the Dodgers we have Clayton Kershaw, Walker Bueller, Julio Urias and then Dustin May slash Tony Gonsolin for the game four as they've done that a few times where May pitches one inning and then Gonsolin goes a few as well and now looking at some key players of this matchup first of all for the Rays I already mentioned it but Charlie Morton if they get to a win or go home game he's just been so dominant he's been lights out in the postseason as he had that great game seven start against the Astros he looks to continue that when he starts in game three and then Randy Rosarena they him, they call him the Cuban Mookie Betts while well, he'll be going up against the real Mookie Betts. He was the ALCS MVP. He has seven homers as a rookie this postseason. He's really came out of nowhere. And now for the Dodgers, they have all the star power in the world. But Mookie Betts, he's the new offseason acquisition. They traded for him from Boston this offseason. And as I mentioned, this is going to be their third World Series appearance in their last four years. So they've been able to get to the World Series. But we'll see if Mookie Betts is the piece that can bring them over the top and can win them a World Series. And then Clayton Kershaw, he's going to be a future Hall of Famer for sure, but the one stain on his resume is he has never been a completely dominant pitcher in the postseason. We saw him have a very good game earlier this postseason. I believe it was against Milwaukee, but we'll see he can do it with the big lights shining as the Braves get the best out of him, and we'll see how he does against the Tampa Bay lineup. So now, as far as the odds, the Dodgers are coming in with a 69.8% chance of winning. The odds are in favor of the Dodgers, but they do have a ton of star power. Odds cannot really go against what the Rays have going as they have a ton of tough outs all through their lineup. They have some great pitchers. If you look at the advantages of who will win this series, the, the both of the teams have very good starting rotations. That could go either way. It just depends on the night. There's probably not going to be too many lights out pitching performances because of the offensive firepower that both of these teams have. The Dodgers have to have a slight advantage on offense just because of all of their star power with Cody Bellinger and Mookie Betts. The Rays, though, they do have the better bullpen as they just have a ton of arms. The Dodgers, they have a few intriguing bullpen arms as well, but the Rays are just coming out with a stable of guys, Kevin Cash says, that can throw 98+. plus. So let me know what you guys think. This should be a very good series. It all starts tomorrow. MLB has came a far way from maybe not having a season at all to the World Series starting tomorrow. Let me know your predictions in the comments. Thanks.